it's Mighty Moo and his mission is to teach you about God's love. We have some pictures and we wonder if you can tell the difference between sheep and goats. They're similar in some ways and different in others. So what do you think? Is this a sheep or a goat? If you guessed goat, you are correct. How about this one? Is that a sheep or a goat? Did you guess sheep? You're right. All right, here's another one. Is that a sheep or a goat? Did you guess goat? That's what I did the first time, but I learned it's a sheep. So I learned some things about sheep and goat and I'd like to share them with you. So goats have hair and not all goats have beards. Now the sheep, sheep have wool, but some sheep have hair too. And if we go back to the goat, we can see that the goat's tail sticks up and the sheep, their tails hang down. And if they have a short tail, it'll droop down. Goats, they like to get into mischief and wander off. And sheep, they move together in groups. That's called a flock. And they rarely separate from the flock. And this is fascinating. Sheep only answer to their shepherd's voice. Well, our Bible story today talks about goats and sheep. And our story can be found in the book of Matthew. Jesus and the disciples were together. The disciples asked, Jesus, how do you know who serves you and who doesn't serve you? Jesus answered, I know who serves me like a shepherd knows his sheep. A shepherd knows how to tell a sheep from a goat. People who serve me are like my sheep. People who don't are like goats. The disciples said eagerly, we want to be like the sheep. How can we serve you? Jesus said, when you serve others, you serve me. When you feed someone who is hungry, you serve me. When you share your blanket with someone who is cold, you serve me. When you give clothes to those in need, you serve me. But, Jesus warned, when people do not serve others, they do not serve me. Every time you ignore someone who needs your help, it's like you are ignoring me. Truly I tell you, the sheep will be with me in heaven and the goats will not. The disciples looked at each other and asked, then how can we be sure to always serve you, Jesus? And Jesus replied, help others, share, love each other. God's kingdom is for those who show their love by serving others in need. Well, today's story is another parable. And Jesus used goats and sheep to tell the story. And goats and sheep were very common in Bible times. Now, the sheep in the story, they represent the people who follow Jesus, the believers. They listen to God's word and take actions to serve others. The goat in our story represents the people who hear the word but do not follow Jesus. They are the non-believers. They do not take actions to serve others. Now, there are many ways to serve, but I do want to be clear with one thing. Sometimes we can't do something at the time that we see there's a need. Maybe it's not safe, or maybe we're too young, or our parents are not with us. There are a lot of reasons. If you can't get involved right then, you can still help. You can donate money or items to a cause that's important to you. Maybe when you see a homeless person, a smile and a hello goes a long way. It shows them that they are not invisible and we do see them. Prayer is another way to show love. And those in need of prayers, add them to your prayers. Smiling, saying hello, and praying are all actions that show God's love. And remember, when I shared with you that the sheep only hear or answer to the shepherd's voice? Let's have a different type of prayer today. It's called a listening prayer. So 
Go ahead, close your eyes, and let's imagine we are sheep listening to our shepherd. Amen. What is God calling you to do? Well, that's all the time we have for today. So remember, God loves you today, tomorrow, and every day.